Also making the headlines, a battle on the buses. <laughs> I'm Emma Cameron in Edinburgh. Good evening. Trade union leaders and community groups have declared a cost of living emergency as rising food and energy bills pile pressure on household budgets. The STUC and the Poverty Alliance held a summit to discuss how to tackle the issue. Well, Ewan joins us now. So Ewan, how significant is this declaration of a cost of living emergency? Well, I think the company currently has 25 vacancies but says it can't compete with the higher wages being offered to drive lorries. Larger firms are also struggling with staff shortages, as Susan Ripple reports. An unsanctioned strike involving 200 workers at a former Bifab yard in Methyl has been called off. It emerged today staff from a Portuguese subcontractor had downed tools, claiming they hadn't been paid. It warns of a mass exodus of staff due to persistent and intolerable levels of racism and says there's a systemic failure across the NHS that must be tackled. Doctors in Scotland have told STV News of their experiences, as Louise Hosey reports. And sticking with health, Scotland is in the grip of a new wave of COVID infections being driven by two Omicron variants. That's according to a public health expert. Well, our political reporter Laura Alderman joins me now to discuss this. Laura, what's the picture? And finally this evening, domes of lights, winding paths and bursts of colour are coming to Inverclyde this weekend. A giant inflatable luminarium has popped up outside the Beacon Arts Centre for the Meloria Festival. It's aiming to bring people in the community together again following the pandemic. Inspired by the motto on Inverclyde's crest, the festival is encouraging people to look forward to better things ahead this summer. Vanessa Taff has been long to see what it's all about. Well, earlier on, we mentioned the possibility of Eurovision coming to Scotland, and it may well be coming to Glasgow. Here's a wee thing for you, Emma. This is fascinating. I think it is anyway. It's not the first time it's been in Scotland. Do you know where it was before? I do not, John. Edinburgh. Do you know when? Nope. 1972. Do you know who won it? I do not. <laughs> the New Seekers. Do you know who one of the singers was in the New Seekers? Eve I Graham. do not. Do you know where she was from? Do you want Are me you to keep going? I'm a fan here. <laughs> <laughs> If you well, want to be a presenter of it, you're going to have to up your game and know this stuff. Oh la la, mon ami. Neil Poir <laughs> from Edinburgh. That's all from us tonight. Bye bye. Good night.